Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this poncho. It is a granny type of stitch and I used a J hook. This is pretty much one size fits all. I am usually a size medium, but because this is just a pullover poncho, it should really work for everybody. If you wanna add more rows, you can. I'll tell you exactly how to do that as we go along in the pattern. The pattern is down below. I used three different colors, which was less than half of a just regular skein of yarn. So I did, the first row I did eight rounds of the blue, which in the picture I only did seven and then I decided in the pattern to write eight, but with the white I used eight rounds and then in the gray I used eight rounds. So there is uh, eight times three, there's 24. You could add more rounds. As you can tell, it goes right like a little past my hips to my hips. If you feel like you want it longer, I would suggest doing nine, nine, and then nine, which would be the 27, which would make it a little bit longer. I was somewhat thinking that I, that I should have went a little bit longer. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to start with a slip knot onto my hook. I am doing a chain of a 92 with the J hook. Uh, because of the way I have this pattern set up, you need to make sure that your pattern is the chain of 92. If you miss a stitch, it's not going to work out. Once you have that, then make sure your loop is straight. If it's twisted, you're going to have to start over, slip stitch into that first chain and make sure it's all the way straight. And then chain three. That counts as your first double crochet. Then you will double crochet in each chain around, which you need to make sure is 92 all together. And then I just make sure both of my ends meet together and make sure it's straight before I connect them. Because when I did this, I had started over a couple of times because I twisted it. So pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over, pull through two loops. Then continue on for each chain will have a double crochet until you get to the beginning. Slip stitch in the chain three and then you're going to chain four. Then you're going to skip a stitch, then double crochet in the next three stitches. And in that chain four counted as a double crochet plus a chain one. You will go back to the beginning and it will all come together. So you have your three double crochet, then chain one, then skip a stitch and then work a double crochet in the next three stitches. And then chain one again. Then you'll repeat that all the way until you get to the beginning. It's just skip and double crochet in the next three and then chain one and make sure you have a chain one every time you are done with your with the three double crochet. You're going to end with the one double crochet in the next two stitches and then you will slip stitch into the chain three because that stitch next to the chain three is considered a chain one. Okay, you're going to go right into that first chain one and slip stitch. Then you're going to work a chain four. This is part of the increase, so you're going to work three double crochet in that same space, and only part of this is finished. At the end, you will finish it when you come all the way back around, and I can show you when you how to do that. 
Then you're going to chain one so that that part that's not finished. Then you're going to go into each chain one space and work three double crochet and a chain one. And then on the opposite side, which I'm going to show you, you're going to work your other increase. So you only have two increases on this entire pattern, which is creating the V part of the front and back of this poncho. So work your three double crochet and then chain one. Then you're going to fold it in half and on the opposite side in the nearest chain one space you're going to use your stitch marker so you know when you'll need to create the increase it just goes directly on to the opposite side after you fold it in half from that beginning. So you're there now. Once you're there, you're going to create three double crochet. Then you're going to chain two and then work three double crochet again and this is on the opposite side from the beginning. You can take your stitch marker out because next time you go back to this increase here you'll know that you'll just continue on with the increase every single time. And then after you have your three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, you'll chain one. So chain one and then work three double crochet and chain one for each chain one space until you get right back to the beginning. So you're right back at the beginning and you're going to make sure you work two double crochet every single time you're back at the beginning then you're going to slip stitch into the chain three and that chain one is going to count as your center and slip stitch and then you're just going to repeat the pattern that's the one side now you have that side you're just going to have two increase on both sides and that's it. The rest is going to be the three double crochet chain one. Now after you have done your eight rounds you can slip stitch in a new color. So it is all done the same way for the pattern. It's just just a new color. So you'll chain four and then work your three double crochet. This is all just a repeat. I'm just showing you how to do a color change after you've done the eight rounds. I haven't done the eight rounds in this video. I'm just showing you for the demonstration of the pattern. Then chain one and then work three double crochet and then work your chain one. So this is just all repeat. And I would, if you want to do colors, I would do like uh, at least eight to nine rounds for each color. Now you're back at the increase on the other side of the beginning. And right before you get to the increase, make sure you work your three double crochet and then chain one. Then make sure you work in the increase three double crochet then chain two and then work three double crochet again. And then make sure you chain one and then work three double crochet
and then chain one. Okay, so now you're back at the beginning and all you're going to do is work your two double crochet again and then you're going to slip stitch into that chain three. This is just all repeat and then you'll have your poncho complete. You'll weave in all your ends and fasten them off and just continue on for 20 you can do 24 rounds or you could do 27 rounds. So this is just all repeats of the pattern. It's just repeating of, I think this is row four, is done all the same until you're done, until you're done at the end. Okay? Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's complete. I'm going to take about eight to nine inches of four strands of yarn and then in each chain one space and in the chain two increase space I'm going to just loop it through just like this and then pull through the loop all of the strands and make a little tassel and this is how you make the tassels for each if you want to make them for each chain space this is what this poncho looks like when it's all finished turned out really nice. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and subscribe if you haven't already and thank you for watching. It's shawl. I made it with a K hook and Karen Latte yarn. The pattern is down below. I think I made it just a little too long. If you like this link then you can keep it the way um, I'm going to show you two different ways. One to make it a little bit shorter or to make it this long. Okay so let's get started. This is the Karen Latte Cakes that I used. It's Horizon Blue. I used two of these for my shawl. It's 8.8 .8 ounces. Okay, I'm going to slip knot onto my hook. I did a chain count of 220. However, if that is too long, then I would suggest doing a chain count of 200. The one that I did with this yarn, it's a little stretchy and it did go to my knees. And if you don't want it that long, you could do 220 or less. So I would take that chain count and wrap it around your neck and see how long it goes. And that will determine how long you would like the length. Now I'm going to yarn over in the second chain from the hook. I'm going to half double crochet, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Repeat until you get to the end yarn over pull through all three loops and then just keep half double crocheting until you get to the end. Then you're going to chain one and turn. In each back loop make a half double crochet. So in the back loop grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through all three loops for a half double crochet. You'll do that until you get to the end, half double crochet. And I repeated this row five times. You can repeat it a little bit longer if you like, it's up to you. But I only did it for five rows before I got to my double crochets. Now chain two and turn. Now your five rows are done of the half double crochet. Now you're going to double crochet in that first loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then skip a loop, go to the next, double crochet. Now you're going to do a wrap around double crochet around that second double crochet. So go behind it, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's a wrap around of the double crochet. You don't go in the loop, you just go around it. So go to skip a stitch, go to the next double crochet, and then 
do a wrap around double crochet around. Now you can just make this a double crochet, it doesn't have to be a wrap if you don't want it to. So yarn over, go around behind, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then you're just going to continue that until you get to the end. So skip and then go to the next, double crochet, and then do a wrap around double crochet. And then just complete it until you get to the very end. In the last stitch, make sure you end with one double crochet in the last stitch at the very end. And then you'll turn your work. Now chain two and turn, double crochet in that first stitch. And then you're in that one stitch there, skip and go to the next part of that double crochet wrap. Then work a double crochet wrap here. And you can go through both loops. I did a back loop in the first one, now this one, it just can be all front, both loops, it's up to you. But I think it's sturdier when it's uh, both loops. And then do your double crochet, and then do a double crochet wrap around. This is all repeat now. And then when you go, it's going to look like this, then you're going to not go on that one, but the next stitch in that double crochet wrap again. Just repeat that until you get to the end. Work your double crochet, and then do a wrap around it. I did about 22 rows of that row, so you can continue on and do a chain one and half double crochet in each stitch across for five rows. So this is just the end part of it is five rows of half double crochet. And then you'll end with a half double crochet. So yarn over, pull through, and this is the end and you will fasten off. Now I'm going to make a pocket, make two of these pockets with a K hook, and I'm going to chain 30 all together. Now I'm going to work with a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook, and then make sure you're working a half double crochet, yarn over, pull through, and each chain across until you get to the very end. going to chain one and turn and work a half double crochet in each back loop across and I did this for 20 rounds and you have to make two pockets if you would like to add pockets. So chain one and pull and then you're going to fasten off here and then add these on to your shawl. On each side of the shawl I will have the pocket and sew it in from side to the bottom back up the side. I'm having the lines go vertical on the pocket and I went up about seven to eight inches. If you have the same length as me. Um, you want to make sure your pockets are in the same distance of your hands. And so I went up about seven to eight inches on the bottom of the pocket. You may need to go a little bit more or less just depending how long you make the length of your shawl. And then I just went back and forth with my yarn needle and sewed the sides and then the bottom and kept the top part open of course for the pocket and as you notice, like I said, the um, stripes of the pocket are going up and down instead of horizontal. You can make it horizontal if you like. I just want it, I liked the design of that. Okay, so that's what it looks like. This is the opening, that's the bottom, and this is what it looks like. I hope this helps you. And the pattern is down below. 
I am going to show you how to make this unique stitch. So let's get started. I use loops and threads, baby yarn size three and F hook. You can use any type of hook and yarn just depending how, on how big you'd like it. And I did this in multiples of 10 plus seven. I'm going to do a chain 57 for a sample. For a shawl, you could try this in a chain 157 or 147. Um, for a scarf, maybe a little bit smaller and you could even do a blanket with this type of pattern. So you're going to yarn over and start your chains. Double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, pull through two loops again. Then you're going to insert your hook into the next chain and double crochet in the next chain double crochet again. You're going to have a total of four double crochet in the next chain. So you have five all together with that beginning chain. Now you're going to chain five and then you're going to skip five chains and then insert your hook into the next chain after you skip five. Double crochet and then double crochet in the next four chains for a total of five and then three and then four and then five. So you have five double crochet in a row, then you're going to chain five, and that's the pattern. And then you're going to skip five chains again and repeat that until you get to the end. So you're gonna continue that on, skipping five, and then double crochet in the next. So you have the five double crochet in a row and then chain five and then skip five until you get to the end. Okay, you're at the end here and you're going to double crochet in the next five chains. Okay, this row is finished. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through to complete this row. Second row, you're going to have the same chain count as your first row, so I have a chain 57. The fourth chain from the hook, I'm going to work a double crochet. And then I'm going to work three more double crochet. You'll have a total of five double crochet. That first chain will count as your first double crochet and then you'll do four more in the next four chains. Then you're going to chain five.
Now you're going to take your chain and you're going to take it underneath the chain five space from the previous first row and then weave in your chain back and forth. Your row two, you'll go under the chain five to start and then your row three, you'll go over, which I'll show you next. Okay, with your chain five, now you're going to skip five chains. And then in the sixth chain, you're going to work a double crochet. Then work a double crochet in the next four chains. Okay, so now you're going to chain five and then you're going to skip five chains and make sure that chain that's weaved in and out is above the five double crochet from before. Double crochet in that sixth chain and then double crochet in the next four for a total of five double crochet and that's the pattern. So then after the five double crochet, chain five, skip five, and then work your five double crochet. And the pattern is listed down below. So just continue that on until the end. Okay, so it looks like this and just continue that pattern until you get to the end and I'll show you how to do the end for the second row. Okay, at the end, make sure you do your chain five and then work skip five and then work your five double crochet in the last five chain spaces and that's how you end the row. You're going to yarn over and pull through to finish. Okay, it's going to look like this when you're finished. I'm going to show you how to do the third row. I chained 57 and the fourth chain from the hook. I'm going to do the same and work a double crochet and then work three more double crochet in the next three chains. this chain row, you're going to take your chain and go over the chain five for the row and then alternate under and then over and then under and then over back and forth and just repeat this until you get to the end of your row and you're going to alternate between row two and three back and forth um, as you go along. You have your chain five and you're going to skip five chains and then work the five double crochet and the next five chains. 
So chain 5, then skip your 5 double crochet, double crochet in the next 5 chains. Now chain 5 and skip the 5 double crochet again and work your 5 double crochet in the next. So you're going to skip and then work your 5 double crochet again. And then chain five. And then you're just going to repeat that pattern until you get to the end. You're at the end, you're going to chain five and then skip five chains and then work your five double crochet again at the end. And you're just doing it the same way as before for the pattern. At the end of each row, make sure to yarn over and pull through, and then at the end, you'll weave in your ends with your yarn needle. To finish the ends, you can slip knot onto the ends and chain three, and then work two, double crochet in that same row at the end. And then you can work three double crochet in the next row at the end. And then just continue on with all your rows to complete. Now you can yarn over and pull through and weave in your ends with a yarn needle. Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this poncho for a child. Looks like this. I'm using Red Heart white and pink yarn and this is an H hook that I'm using. This can be done Um, as an increase, I use this uh, pattern for a three-year-old, but you can increase it um, by multiples of eight. So if you want to increase the poncho for an older child, you can increase it by chaining eight more than um, the chain that I'm starting, which is um, I'm starting with a chain of 72 for a three-year-old. And if you do increase it, then 
you can just place uh, the chain after you connect the chain, which I'm going to show you right now, um, over the child's head to see if it fits. So starting, I'm doing a one, and I'm going all the way to 72. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. You're going to take this and you're going to connect the ends and you're gonna, going to connect it with a slip stitch. So now I'm going to slip stitch it and you've connected it. Now you're going to place it around your child's neck and see if it places comfortably around the shoulders, around the collarbone, and then you're going to continue on with single crochets. So just single crochet around and once you get to the end you're going to connect connect with a slip knot a slip stitch I mean and I have it right here so pause your video once you've reached your single crochet all the way around and then if you want to you can switch colors so I'm switching to white this is the end. I haven't connected it because I'm going to slip stitch my color on. And then slip stitch in this beginning, single crochet with my white. Now this round you're going to chain three, one, two, three. You're going to double crochet in the next two, one, two, so double crochet, one, and then two. And then you'll chain one, and you're going to skip the single crochet and work three double crochet in the next three, so skip, and then three double crochet. One, two, three. You're going to continue this around, so skip a single, work three double crochet in the next three with a chain one, work it all the way around, slip stitch in this chain three. So I'm going to show you, pause your video, once you get to the end here it's going to look like this. Now we're on round three. <clears throat> when you get to round three, you're <clears throat> slip stitched into this chain three and then you're going to slip stitch into the chain one. So slip stitch <clears throat> and then slip stitch again and then slip stitch in this chain one. And then you're going to connect with your new color if you're choosing to use two colors. <clears throat> or you can just continue with your color you're using. And you're going to slip stitch your color in and then chain three, one, two, three. And then work two double crochet in this chain one. So one, two, and these ends we can weave in at the end. Chain one, two, 
And then this next chain one space, you'll work three double crochet. So one, two, three, You're going to do this for a total of nine times. So one, two, chain one, and this chain one, work three again. One, two, three, chain one, work three, double crochet in this next chain one. One, two, three, chain one, repeat, one, two, three, chain one, repeat, one, two, three, chain one, Repeat, one, two, three, chain one, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so we need two more, one, two, three, Chain one is your last one. We just need a total of eight. Sorry, a total of nine. We need a total of nine, three double crochet. Okay, so we have a total of nine three double crochet, and we're going to work an increase in this next one. So an increase will be three double crochet. One, two, three, chain one, and then three double crochet for an increase. One, two, three and then chain one and you have your increase <clears throat> this is going to start creating your poncho uh, so it starts uh, expanding and making it bigger now you're going to continue on with three double crochet for eight times so we have one here chain one and then we have two here chain one and we have three then we have four Then we have five. Then we have six. Then we have seven. Eight, 
So now we've reached eight here. Chain one, and then we have nine here. And this ninth one, it's an increase. So three double crochet, and then a chain one, and then another three double crochet. And then you're going to slip stitch in this beginning chain, one, two, three, slip stitch. And then round four, you're going to slip stitch in this chain one. And then you can slip stitch your white yarn in. And you're going to chain three, one, two, three and then work your three double crochet again. One. And then chain one. And you're gonna repeat this for a total of nine times. And so you'll do it here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it just repeats the pattern again, three double, chain one, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, and this chain one, and then chain one. Go all the way to here nine times. Then in this increased space, you're going to work an increase. So you'll work three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, chain one. Then repeat this all the way to eight, and then increase here. And when you increase, then you'll have a chain one and you'll slip stitch into this chain three and then slip stitch again all the way into the chain one and just repeat it all the way for each round. You just keep repeating that same round for your increases. Always have an increase in the increase and in the increase and then work the same pattern of three double crochet chain one and I did this for a total of 20 rounds. I just kept increasing for 20 rounds for the length. You can go longer if you'd like. Um, so this is how you do this pattern. And there is a link for the instructions down below if you need a written pattern as well. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hi, I'm going to teach you how to do a poncho for an adult. And I used medium worsted yarn, an H hook, and I made this for an adult. I know I may have some that want to make this for a child. I do not have a pattern for a child. After you see the pattern, you may be able to adjust it for a child. Um, you could do less chains and then work the pattern out to where it fits for a younger child. However, I do not have one for a child. I just made this for an adult and for an adult woman. So the pattern is listed down below. Okay, so there are six rounds in total and I'll go over them step by step. And if you ever wanna adjust your hook size to make this larger or smaller, you can. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, you're going to slip knot onto your hook and with an H hook, you need to chain 103. So once you have your count of 103, we'll go to the next round. Now you're going to take your chain count row and you're going to connect the two ends together with a slip knot. Make sure they're facing together. Also make sure your chain is not twisted. Slip stitch and then you're going to chain 103. 
chain one half double crochet in each chain. You're going to skip the first chain, go to the next chain and work a half yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook and then you'll work a half double crochet in each chain around until you get to the beginning. You're going to slip stitch in that first half double crochet and then you're going to fold your round in half and then on the opposite side of your slip stitch you're going to place a stitch marker. It doesn't have to be exact but you're going to place a stitch marker so you know where the halfway point is. You'll just place that stitch marker in place the entire time of this poncho. Now you're going to chain six. Skip two double crochet and single crochet in the next double crochet. Then you're going to chain three skip two double crochet and single crochet in the next double crochet. You'll do that two more times. Chain three, skip two double crochet and single crochet into the next stitch. And then chain three, and then skip two stitches and then single crochet and that is the pattern the pattern around is chain six, skip two stitches and single crochet and then chain three and skip two stitches and single crochet and then do that two more times so a total of three and you'll do that until you get to the stitch marker. So chain three, skip two stitches and single crochet and then chain three, skip two stitches and single crochet, chain six and then skip two stitches and then single crochet and you'll just keep repeating that until you get to the stitch marker. When you get to the stitch marker, you're going to chain six and then single crochet after you skip two stitches. Here I did a slip stitch 
but I meant to do a single crochet. And then when you're at the stitch marker, you're going to, going to do the chain six twice. So it looks exactly like the opposite side. And then you're going to a single crochet. Then you're going to chain three and continue with three chain threes and chain two and single crochet. And then you'll do that two more times and then you'll do another chain six and you'll do that until you get to the beginning. And then chain six. And then skip two and then single crochet. At the end, you'll end with a chain six, so it looks like the opposite side. So you'll have two chain sixes at the end because you started with a chain six. And then you're just going to slip stitch into that beginning chain and then start the next round. You can change colors whenever you want, which I will show you. So it's going to look like this. You have your round and then you have your two sides. You're beginning with two chain, chain sixes and then your stitch marker with two chain sixes. And then you're just going to work in rounds. Chain two and then work 10 double crochet in the chain six space. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, then repeat for a total of 10 double crochet. For each round I posted the time so you can always go back to the time if you need more help with each round. So round three you'll have to go back at 8.55 on the video and then for round four I'll post the time and you can always go back to that time slot so that will help you for each round if you need help. single crochet in the next chain space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain space, chain three, single crochet in the next, and then work ten double crochet in the next chain space, the chain six. Single crochet into the next chain space, just like before, it's just a repeat now. And then chain three. And then single crochet. And then chain three. 
and then single crochet and then work 10 double crochet into the next space again and just repeat that around until you get to the beginning and remember in the stitch marker you will work 10 double crochet in both of those chain six spaces right there so 10 double crochet in both six chain six spaces so now that you're at the stitch marker you'll work the 10 double crochet in both chain six spaces and it'll match the beginning so it will be the same when you wear it from both sides so this is the 10 double crochet and then just repeat it into the next chain six space and just repeat with 10 more double crochet into the next chain six space at the uh, stitch marker Now you're going to repeat with the single crochet and the chain three and then a single crochet and the chain three and single crochet and then you'll work the 10 double crochet in each 10 each chain six space and then you're just going to repeat that around until you get to the beginning it's going to look like this okay you're back at the beginning and you'll end with 10 double crochet in that last chain six space slip stitch in the beginning double crochet and it's going to look like this you finish this round now you're going to yarn over pull through if you like to change colors here you can so you're going to slip knot onto your hook and then you're going to insert your hook into that same stitch with your new color of yarn and pull through and then you can slip stitch and chain two work a double crochet into that same stitch as the chain two then work a double crochet into the next nine stitches
single crochet into the next chain space and then a chain three and that accidentally was a chain two but it was supposed to be a chain three then work a double crochet in each double crochet ar around for the next ten single crochet again into the next chain space and then this is the pattern you will repeat it for this round and then chain three and single crochet into the next chain space and then just repeat one double crochet into the next ten double crochet once you get to the stitch marker you'll work 20 double crochet you'll slip stitch in that beginning double crochet and this is what it looks like you're back at the beginning for that round and that's the 20 all together at that center stitch marker it's going to look like this okay you're going to chain four and that double crochet into the next stitch and then chain one then double crochet into the next and then just repeat that for a total of ten the chain four counts as the double crochet chain one so after that chain four you'll do nine more with a chain one and then double crochet and then chain one and repeat that until you get to the end of the ten double crochet single crochet into the next chain space and then work a double crochet into the next double crochet and then chain one and chain one and double crochet into the next and you will have a total of ten with a chain one ten double crochet so each double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet for a total of ten until you get to the next chain space. Okay, you stop the chain one and then you're going to single crochet again and then you're going to go into the next double crochet again and that is the pattern around and then you'll chain one and when you get to the stitch marker you will work 20 so you'll work a double crochet chain one 20 right here for the stitch marker and then the rest will be the same for this round just like that once you're right there you're going to double crochet and then chain one and then double crochet and then you'll do that for a total of 20 times right at that stitch marker
okay and then you'll just single crochet and then repeat that around until you get to the beginning okay back at the beginning you're going to slip stitch on top of that chain three and you're starting the new round again here okay now you're going to if you like you can change colors I'm adding one more color so I have a total of three I like to do it in two rows that have the double crochet showing and then I switch colors it's up to you on what you'd like to do for uh, how many times you like to change colors then I'm going to slip stitch in the beginning stitch Okay, I'm going to do a chain six and you'll do rounds three through six for each set for the pattern and then when you get to row six for the last set you only do rounds three through five because the last round starts the beginning of each set and then you're going to skip and then single crochet into the next and then chain three and skip a stitch and then single crochet into the next and then chain three and then skip and then single crochet and then chain three and skip and work a single crochet then chain six and then skip one two three four and then go right into skip three go right into the fourth and then single crochet and then chain three you have one and then two and then three chain threes and then chain three and then skip one and then single crochet chain three and then skip and then single crochet and then chain three and then skip and then single crochet So you have one, two, three. So now you're going to chain six. And then you're going to skip one, two, three, four, and then go into that fifth one this time. And then every time you go for the chain five or chain six, you'll skip four. Now chain three and skip, and you'll work your way right into the stitch marker. Okay, now you're back around to the stitch marker and you have the 20 so you're going to chain three and skip and single crochet skip one and single crochet and then you're going to chain three and skip and then single crochet and then chain three and skip and single crochet and then chain six and because you have 20 this is the only time you'll do this the rest will be just like I showed you so this is a chain six and then skip and single crochet and then chain six again this is only in the center uh, stitch marker skip and then single crochet okay chain three skip and then single crochet and then chain six and then skip one two one two three four and then go into that stitch after skipping four so you'll skip four from now on for the rest of the pattern 
and then you're going to have to chain six at the very beginning and slip stitch in the beginning chain. Chain two and work ten double crochet in the chain six space. Okay, so this is all repeat now. Round three, you're back to that round. And this is a single crochet, and then chain three, and then a single crochet, and then chain three, and then single crochet, and then work 10 double crochet in that chain six space and then that is the pattern until you get to the stitch marker. Okay, so after this, you are going to single crochet and then chain three and then single crochet and then work your 10 double crochet and then you'll do round four, five and then go back to the beginning of doing round six. And once you're at the very end, then you're going to do rounds three, four and five and then six will always be your beginning round. And now you're going to slip knot if you like to do a collar trim. Just remember that when you're at the end, you just finish with round five for your final round. So it will be a set of rounds three through six, and I did about seven sets. It's up to you how many you would like to do for the length of your poncho. I think once it rests past your hips, that's a good length. So now I'm going to do a slip knot and a chain two, and then a half double crochet in each stitch. Grab that yarn, yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook, and then just continue with a half double crochet around. You can do as many as two to three or four rounds. I did about two. It's up to you and then afterwards you can iron it to smooth it out and if it bunches up you can work a few half double crochet two together. Now chain two and work another half double crochet in each stitch around and then that will complete your trim. Okay so the link is down below if you need more help and that's it for how to make this poncho. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Make sure you weave in all your ends, turn it right side out, and then your poncho is complete.